Back in 1992, when Pat Riley was the head coach of the New York Knicks, there was a feeling around the franchise to try and recreate a little bit of the showtime that Pat Riley and the Lakers had in L.A. That meant the creation of the Knicks City Dancers. It's hard to believe, but tonight they are going to celebrate their 20th anniversary with a little bit of a reunion performance at halftime with the current Knicks City Dancers. Some of those faces are very familiar. Here's our Tina Servacio with more on how they'll celebrate. As Knicks fans know well, a lot can happen in 20 years, and the rich history of the Knicks City Dancers also proves that. What started out as a courtside diversion back in 1991 has turned into one of the Garden's most anticipated attractions, and the KCD also has provided a launching pad to even greater heights for many of these young women. Being a Knicks City Dancers just opened up so many doors for me, and um, it's the one thing in my life that I think I'm most proud of to this day. Yeah, just to dance at the world's most famous arena. To, to say that and to put that on your resume and to be so proud of that is something that you always carry with you no matter how many years you, you are in a new direction and, and have a new life. You are a professional boxer. You are a reigning world champion. Tell me how the Knicks City Dancers experience impacted now your professional life. Being in the uh, Master Square Garden, you know, such a big arena really helped me. But, and ironically, uh, before I became a professional, I came here three times and won the New York Golden Gloves. So it was kind of like, wow, you know, I get to come back here. You parlayed your career as Nick City Dancer into something else in New York. What was that? Uh, a New York City Radio City Rock out. I um, started the New York Jets flight for children over at the New York Jets. I've been on tour with Mariah Carey, with Jennifer Lopez, Beyonce. Now being on a show like Smash and doing all the special work I do, I mean, you know, if I look back, it, it really wouldn't have unfolded the way it did if I didn't start dancing for the mix. What still stands true? What is still the same over these 20 years? I would have to say the camaraderie, the work ethic, the girl power proud to be a part of it and I'm happy to you know have gotten everybody together tonight and celebrated this special moment. I've looked up to these women since I was ever started dancing. I've always wanted to be a Nick City dancer and to be in the same room with women who were on the first actual team. It was just unreal. I hope that I'm just able to show other girls who are inspiring to be Nick City dancers that it is possible. All the hard work and talent that you put in one day it will all be worth it. Keeping our reputation alive and still being such an amazing and well-respected dance team in the NBA, it is just such, I'm so proud of them. I'm so proud to, to call myself. <laughs>